Hello, Mass Jespersen from Flowhow. In this video, I want to show you how you can uh, use overflow tabs in your injection molding um, to uh, strengthen uh, a weld line. Normally, I've, I've just used a very simple example, but um, anyway, if it's uh, also in a more complicated uh, uh, part, the, it's the theory and the uh, actions uh, behind it is uh, is the same. So um, if you have a simulation like that or a part like that with two gates, you will get a well line in the middle. We can see here with the uh, filling, of course, we'll get a well line. I, when I'm looking at well lines, I always use uh, in the computation. I use this uh, well line particles, which is a feature that um, throws in some particles in the well line when it's created. So if I look at uh, the particle, you can see here in the well line, I'll get particles when the, the flow front meets. When um, when a uh, well line is created, um, you'll get like a notch in the surface. I'll just if you have a flow front or wall thickness here and a flow, it's coming together. It will create like a small notch. This is much bigger than in reality, but it will create a notch uh, on the surface, which gives you the um, visibility of the the well line. But it will always also create um, um, some uh, in the boundary area between this flow and this flow. It will create a, a non-connection. Um, are not, it will not be um, moved in to each other so that uh, you'll have a flow through so you have a, a very um, good weld line. If it well line if a weld line is just uh, created like this and there's no flow underneath the weld line, it will be, not be very strong. But can you uh, get a flow underneath? You you'll um, you'll be able to make it much stronger. In this case, I have uh, used um, fibers, and um, if we look at the fiber orientation there, and make a clipping of that, we can see here. Uh, not clipping, I'll make a slicing like this. You can see, maybe just move it a bit. Ah. Anyway, we can see that the fiber orientation is out as a normal to the surface, going up and down inside, meaning that they are not in connection with each other and therefore there's, they are not very strong. What we want is the fibers going through. And also, if we don't have fibers, we want an underflow underneath in the in the part to create a very a good uh, well line. So um, what you can do then is you can um, you can create an overflow and an overflow is a small tap which are filled as the last thing or filled after after the weld line it may not be located directly on top of the weld line but it has to be a bit uh, beside uh, 
uh, a bit distance, a small distance from the well line. So if I go to uh, display well line, where do I have that? Uh, there. Sorry. You can see I have placed it here. You should use simulation to find out what's the best possible position because it depends on the uh, on the width of the part and uh, how you can place the this tap because this one follows out with the mold or the part. Um, maybe you can cut it uh, directly in the part. I have defined it here as an overflow in my. Um, when I put up the analysis, but uh, when you do that, it will not fill the overflow totally. In Molex 3D, uh, it will fill the part, and when the part is filled, it will stop and not fill the overflow. If you want the overflow totally filled, as you normally would, you should just define it as a, a, a runner, a co-runner. So I've done that on run three. And here, if I look at the well line now with the particles, yeah. And go to fill that. Sorry. Particle results and go here. You can see as before we get the well line created and it throws out particles in the well line. And when we then go further, we can see what's happening inside the well line. This is not on the surface because the surface is created. So you can't actually not um, manipulate that with the overflow. So there will be a visible mark. But you can, by having this, now the, the flow is going out here. You can see all way, all, all around, all the way from top to bottom here, there will be some sort of uh, flow through an underflow. And this underflow creates a very strong well line, well line compared if you don't have an underflow. Yes. And what about the fiber orientation? If we look look at that. Fiber orientation there and the slicing. Yeah. You can see now instead of having the fibers going up and down, we have the fibers aligned along the flow. So this one well line will be much stronger. So placing a well uh, overflow tap can create uh, good well lines, not invisible well lines, but better well lines. And how to put up the uh, analysis, the well line, um, I can show you now with a small uh, model. I'll just take, um, I can just take this one, copy. This one is without any um, overflow tap. And um, then you can uh, draw in the CAD system. I could just, I can just import this um, tap here and then uh, I double click it. I have already a mesh and so on. I double click it, I say, um, code runner, then it will be filled totally up. Now it complains because um, it, it I have saved the mess. So I just say continue because I copied the run already like that. And I put on some, you can see here now I need to get rid of the solid mesh. No, yeah, I'll just do that. Generate, keep attached solid mesh, no. 
and then that code runner I'll give that give this a, a mesh a seeding let's say 0.3 maybe apply uh, that was very fine 0.8 apply and you can see it automatically makes this a bit uh, better and then I just uh, generate again. This one was uh, made in uh, in the CAD system. Surface mesh runner. And now it's ready to run for analysis. So it's quite easy to do it that way. It says that there's no mill entrance here. Just say yes to that. You know that. <clears throat> Another way to do it, which is uh, even more simple. If you don't want to go out, of the program, you can just um, mesh model. You can just add a gate. You can add a edge gate, for example. Now I don't know where. Maybe you should have an indicator, but I'll just place it there and say um, gate length should we give it uh, 14 maybe and then uh, <coughs> we can have uh, let's say 0.3 oh 0.7 Seven. Point seven. <clears throat> now I have something like that, and then uh, I could add in the tool, go to lines. I can draw a line here and down here, and this line. I can just give attribute as code runner, code runner, circular, and then I can make and say, okay, now I made it quite long, but um, I'll just make it smaller if I would, 18, 18. <coughs> And then go to mesh, generate, key to attach solidness, no, and generate. And now I went directly from two lines actually to, uh, to overflow. So you don't have to draw it, you can just do it like this and go to final check and make uh, the simulation. Okay, small hints about uh, how to make uh, better well lines. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.